our mission within the team is to protect our protectors. Everything we do within these walls is eventually going to be fielded on the soldier. If we don't do something properly or if we miss one tiny step, that could ultimately affect the life of someone protecting our country. The Protective Equipment Test Branch is part of the Engineering Division. So we do a lot of routine testing. And all of the routine testing, the methods and the, the instruments to get there have been designed by the research and technology or research and development team. Uh, we work a lot of hands-on, side-by-side -side with them. Once they perfect a method, a instrumentation, they pass it off to us and they start developing new things. There's a lot of subject matter experts in the center that, you know, we can call and say, hey, you know, I don't understand this. Can you explain it to me? Or what do you think the best technique would be to get this end item? Um, there's, there's definitely a lot of interaction between the research side and the engineering side. Over the past couple of years, my experience at ECBC has allowed me to grow tremendously as a person. I've been involved in a lot of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics programs, STEM, and I'm not only helping children and teachers out there who want to learn, but I'm helping myself. I've learned a lot about myself as a teacher and things that I thought I could never do. I didn't I never thought I was a good teacher. I've learned that hey, I am a pretty good teacher. I am able to motivate children and excite them about whatever their goals in life might be at that moment.